Hey guys, this is Alex Tweedell, Product Manager at Checked, and this is step two of our Payment Rails tutorials. Uh, in the last tutorial, we showed you how to charge for an encrypted status list on Ledger. And today we're going to show you how to issue a verifiable credential referencing a status list or an encrypted status list within the body of the credential. So clicking into the tutorial now, we'll see that step one is to create an encrypted status list on Ledger, which we did in the last tutorial. So moving on to step two, we're going to choose an index number for the credential. Now this is important because each credential that you issue will match against uh, an index within the bit string. So I could create or issue a credential and say that the index number is 10. And then if a verifier checks the number 10 in the bit string, they will be able to see whether that credential was revoked or not. Um, so there's a few ways that you can do this. Basically, we can choose a random bit string index, so I can just randomize it. I could specify it, or I can specify it within a given range. Uh, but for simplicity, what I'm going to do is just generate a random bit string index for this tutorial. So I'm going to copy this payload into VS Code, and I'll go from there, and I'll see you in a second. So what I've just done here, as you can see, is I've compiled this uh, payload file. I've specified the did that we created in the last tutorial, the one with CAD. Um, I've specified a random did key, which I'm going to issue the credential to. Uh, the credential subject is going to be myself. Um, the status options, I've set the same status list name and status purpose as in the status list that we created in the last video. So status purpose equals revocation, status list name equals video encrypted status list. And this just means that um, when we issue this credential, the updates to the status list will occur based on the index that uh, we specify within the status options as well. So just quickly for completion, if you want to specify a status list index, you can add it to your status options like, like you can do here. You can also use this uh, payload to specify a range start and a range end. However, if you don't want to do that, you can leave it blank. This will randomly generate a status list index for you. So once you've created and saved your payload file, the next step is to use this transaction, checked issue revocable credential with status list 2021, and publish that uh, on the CLI to, uh, to issue your verifiable credential. So quickly before I submit the transaction, you can see the uh, transaction here. And I've just submitted that and it looks like it's gone through as intended. Uh, so we can see the result. We've got our verifiable credential that's been issued. Uh, to this did key address from my issuer address, it's generated a random status list index. And we've also got our JWT proof, which we can use to verify the credential later on. You can also see that in the credential status ID, we've got this link. And if I just click to check on this link, this takes us back to the uh, status list 2021 resource file on Ledger, which is encrypted. So in the next tutorial, what we're going to have to do is show you how a verifier can pay to decrypt that encoded list and actually verify whether the credential has been revoked or not.